Hey guys, Mr. Green here with you. In this lesson, we're going to look at translating graphs. A translation slides a figure without changing the size or shape of the figure. For example, suppose we want to translate this quadrilateral ABCD six units to the right and two units down. If we did that, here is where the figure would end up. And we call the new figure A prime B prime C prime D prime. The original figure is called the pre-image. The new figure is called the image. Here are the coordinates of the image. A prime is at 6, negative 2. B prime is at 5, 2. C prime is at 2, 0. And D prime is at 2, negative 2. Now we can represent the pre-image, the translation, and the image with the following equation. Here we go. We have the coordinates for A, B, C, D. Next we have the translation matrix, followed by the coordinate matrix of the image A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Notice in the translation, translation matrix, the sixes in the first row correspond to moving six units to the right, while the negative twos in row two correspond to moving two units down. We can use this method of adding matrices to make translations with graphs, and we're going to do that in the next example. Here we want to translate triangle ABC with the following vertices, three units to the left and four units up. So let's set up the equation that we're going to use. Now let's fill in the coordinate matrix for the pre-image triangle ABC. The coordinates of A are 3, 1. For B we have negative 2, 0. And the coordinates of C are 1, 5. What I want you to do now is fill in the translation matrix for 3 units left and 4 units up. Then add the matrices together to get the coordinate matrix for the image. When you've done that, hit the continue button to check your result with mine. All right, welcome back. For the movement of three units to the left, we need to add negative three to the x coordinates. And to move four units up, we need to add four to the y coordinates. So here's what the coordinate matrix for the image should look like. We'll have zero, five for a prime, negative five, four for b prime, and negative two, nine for c prime. Let's wrap things up by listing all the coordinates of the image. We have A prime, B prime, and C prime. And we've come to the end of this lesson on translating graphs. Great job, and good luck on the rest of your homework. You can get more Algebra 2 help by signing up for Nutshell Math. I'll see you next time.